even though I didn't want to use the GDB until the last module which is the exploit development section but I want to use it in this lecture so that you could better understand what we have said in the previous lecture and also see what is going on in the background and for each instruction so first we open uh, our file which was the key printing dot nasm in here and I change the program a bit I want to uh, move one to R10 register and in here say decrement R10 so that you would have the hello world printed just one time and we would see each instruction so I just save it and exit and then using use the NASM and we execute it and if you see we have hello world printed one time in here so in the other terminal I want to open it using the gdb so we say gdb and then uh, keep printing in here and we enter the gdb so i want to create a breakpoint at a start if you look at our file again a start is the entry point of the program so i create a breakpoint in here it says the breakpoint at 0x4000v0 i also dump the uh, disassembly of the text section using the Intel syntax by providing the D flag and then it would be keep printing and hit enter also in another terminal I want to use x60 to see the binary representation of this program and pass it to more and hit enter so if you look it says that the entry point it is at 4000 and b0 we could also use the read elf to see the address of the file offset but it would be at uh, b0 so in here if we look at the b0 we have 41 ba 0100000 which you could see in here 41 ba 0100000 which is equivalent to move uh, r10 register and 0x1 also we could see other instruction in here at uh, b6 which would be exactly what is written in here and we learned all of them in the previous lecture so in here if you look it says break at a start which is at this address uh, so we, we would be at here right right now we are exactly at this point 4000 b0 or in other words we, we are exactly at here which is the starting point of the text section which contains all the uh, codes and uh, program instructions so after that we run the program and hit enter now it says that since you have created a breakpoint at this point so uh, the uh, we are at this address now i say uh, if i say info registers and then rax using the or r10 using the info registers r10 we could see the contents of the r10 registers and if i hit enter right now it says that there isn't any value in r10 register because right now this uh, first in instruction hasn't yet been executed now i say a step i a step i would cause the program to execute in its instruction one by one so when I say is a step I and hit enter, the first instruction would be executed and it says now we are at the second instruction and if you look, uh, we are at 4000 B6, which means that this instruction. So I say info registers and then the R10 again and hit enter. You see now R R10 has been uh, change to one now the contents of r10 register is one which means that this instruction have, has been executed successfully and now one has been moved to the r10 register also if we say info registers and rip we would see that rip is equal to 4000 and b6 rip always points to the next instruction to be executed and right now the next instruction to be executed it is at 4000 and b6 which is move one to uh, eax regist register or rax register so now if i say info registers and rax and hit enter there isn't any value it's just zero but when we say step i and hit enter 
and now look at the RX register again we have 0 x1 saved in it which means that the second instruction also has been executed successfully we could just look at other registers but I want to just uh, a step through it so I say a step I and now the second instruction would be executed if I look at the all of the registers using info registers and hit enter we could see the other values that have been changed for example RIP now points to 0x4000 and C0 which says that the next instruction to be executed is exactly this which means that move the value saved at this address 6000E4 to the RSA register which 6000E4 is where uh, our data the hello world is saved at which is exactly this position 68 65 and so on until we reach the null in here which is the string hello world uh, so if we look in here again one of the other registers that i wanted to show you is e flags register right now the e flags registers in in here is equal to 0x202 i just want to go to the python interpreter in here as a calculator and say the binary value of 0x202 and we hit enter we saw in the previous lectures that the z uh, zero flag is at the byte uh, num byte six or the seventh bit actually bit six or the seventh bit from right to left or at the low uh, section of bits so we have three four five six and this is the uh, bit number seven which as you see is equal to zero right now so we accept through our program again i say step i again and then again step i we have the RIP would be equal to 4000 and CF. You could just make sure of that by looking the RIP is 4000 CF, which means that uh, right now we are at this address, which is to call the syscall. Now, if we step I again in here, now we are at 4000 and D1. So we are at 4000 and D1 in here, which means that the hello world have, has been printed one time on the screen. And if we look, uh, we still the register E flags is still equal to 0x202, which using our calculator, we saw that the zero flag is still uh, equal to zero, which means that the hello world has been printed. So we would have, normally would have a, jump again so now i say a step i again and uh, we have at uh, 4000 in here if you look we are at 4000 and d4 we look at the 4000 and e4 which is uh, actually the deck r10 has been executed now if we look at the e flags register again in here and hit enter now it's equal to 2046 if we go to our calculator and 4046 uh, and hit enter now you see we have 0 1 2 3 uh, 3 in here 3 and this would be the 7th bit, bit which is the 0 flag and if you notice it has been set therefore the next instruction which is jump NE or JNE 4000 and B6, it looks at the zero flag in here and it sees that it is equal to one, so it won't jump. Now, if I say a step I, it says that the next instruction it has is at 4000 and D6, which is after this instruction, so it hasn't been jumped. And we now we are now in here, so after a couple of other a step I, we get to the a syscall exit which is 4000 and e0 which is at the exit system call now if i say a step i and hit enter it has been exited normally but i think i should have uh, changed this instead of one i should have changed it to two so that you could see it uh, one time how the j and z printing causes the jump to go back in here actually let me just do it so fast so i say two in here i save it go in here disassemble it link it execute it we have hello world twice printed in here i quit 
this again executed we go in here also i want to dump it again now we would have 0x2 at here and now in the gdb i would quit and again execute it create a break at the starting point a step i through it so first we run it and then a step i a step i right now we have the info registers of r10 equal to 2 as you see so we just say a step i so that the arguments would be passed one by one we have uh, we are at 4000 c a 4000 rip is pointing to 4000 c a which if you look we are at the move edx0 xc and then the syscall the syscall would be executed and we would have the printing of the hello world now it says the rip is pointing to 4000 d4 4000 d4 is at jump so right now i want to just look at the e flags in here we have 0 x 202 and the zf flag is not set therefore we would jump so we are right now we are at 4000 d4 now in the previous uh, previous debugging you saw that after this because the zero flag was set we got to the 4000 d6 but right right now because it isn't set we would go back to here which is 4000 and d6 so you look at the register of rip it is at 4000 d4 which is exactly in here now let me just say a step i and we completely expected to go the rip to be changed to 4000 and b6 so i say a step i again and if you look it's 4000 and b6 if we say uh, info registers and rip you see that it is at 4000 b6 so we just a step through it again so that we would have one more uh, invoking the right system call and therefore one more printing now we are at 4000 d1 which is decrementing r1 so again if you look at the e flags right now we don't have the zf to be uh, set but when the decrement happens because right now r10 would be equal to one instead of two you see r10 has been decrement decremented once so now r10 is equal to one now i step through this instruction and now if we look at the registers of r10 it is equal to zero because it has been equal to zero therefore the uh, zf bit in the register of e flags would be equal to 246 which means that the this flag has been set it is exactly equal to this as you see it has been equal to one therefore now if we look at the rip register again that we are at 4000 and d4 which you could see it in here now it looks at the uh, z flag again it says it is one so i won't jump therefore the rip register would go to the 4000 and d6 and the next instruction would be executed you could make sure of that by looking at the rip register which is which points at 4006 therefore using a couple of other step i we could exit the program as you see in here it says it has exited normally so if you uh, i tried to explain everything in here uh, as i said at the previous uh, at the first module i told you it would be better if you know how to work with the gdb but if you don't know it and uh, you don't get it what is going on behind the scenes and what was going on in here don't worry we, ex we would exactly explain all of these things in the last module but i just wanted to show you that how things work when we when i said the j and e or j and z uh, wouldn't uh, work with any any registers but it looks at the uh, e flags register i just wanted to prove uh, that i guess i just hope that you understand these things here see you in the next lecture